Hi everyone and welcome. In this video, we're going to demonstrate authenticating to vCenter using an Active Directory account and managing virtual machine from there. I'm going to log on with the administrator account from my AD domain. Won't bother saving the password for that. Not going to worry about my password expiring. Once I'm here, I'm going to go into VMs and templates. I can see my previously created virtual machines. First thing I'm going to do is convert my template VM into a template. Right click on CentOS for template, hover over top of templates and select convert to template. I'll say yes, I want to do that. And you'll notice that the icon now beside the VM has been changed. I'm going to drag this down into the templates folder. And the next thing we're going to do is create a new VM from that template. Right click, new VM from this template. I have to give it a name. And a location, which is going to be in the lab VMs folder. Click next. We need a compute resource. So from here, I'm going to expand the lab host folder and click ESXi01. We can see that that passes the compatibility check. Click Next. We want to store this on Data Store 1. We will make sure that this is going to be thin provisioned. And click Next. And we are not going to customize anything, so we will simply click on Next and Finish and wait for that to finish up, which it is almost done, as we can see with the progress bar. And that's now done. Select our new VM. And we can see that this is a CentOS 7 VM running from our template. We're not going to keep this. We're going to get rid of it. So I'm going to right click on my new VM. I'll select delete from disk down at the bottom of the pop-up menu. Say yes that I want to do that. And the VM is now deleted. And that's a wrap for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. And we'll see you next time.